first of the swims is in May um, and we get a, a slot, window slot of uh, swimming to be able to say sometime during the 8th of May through to the 15th of May is our, our time slot but everything is reliant on the weather conditions. We'll be prepared, we'll be ready for it but it will all be down to the weather and uh, whether we get away. So uh, that's the first of swims, that's Gibraltar Straits and that is from Europe to Africa. Second one is the English Channel uh, which is 9th of August to the 16th of August is a neap tide. You get spring tides and neap tides. This one's on a neap tide and uh, again weather will be the big dictator for that one. And the final one is Hell's Point which has to take place on the 30th of August, Turkish Independence Day. There is no other option for that one. Um... I've been planning to do these swims uh, for quite a while. Um, getting ready for it's my 50th year this year, 2016. And uh, to mark that I wanted to do something, uh, something special but I hadn't really got round to it and time was dragging on and it was looking like whether I would get um, this pulled together. Then um, some unfortunate death of uh, Mark Shepherd, a uh, good friend known for many years, captain at uh, a number of clubs I was at, both at Croydon Amphibians and at Sutherland Sheen. We grew up together through polo. Um, yeah, he was... Uh, a great leader in and out of water. He unfortunately died in January 2016. And uh, so the feeling of wanting to do something special in Mark's name, big character, um, and someone, um, you know, this would be right up his street. So um, I pulled together and that gave me the energy to be able to say, you know, it had to happen. And um, I'm going to do it for the British Heart Foundation which is uh, Mark passed away through a heart condition suddenly. So um, my father also has had a number of bypass operations and things, so through the work of the British Heart Foundation, um, you know, he's, he's around with us now through um, their findings and things. So yeah, quite a strong, quite a strong link and uh, a drive as well as obviously a milestone year for me. So that's the reason why. Since January I've been training in the Lido, prior to that and in parallel with that it's been in uh, swimming pools at Epsom uh, College with Epsom District Swimming Club and uh, at uh, Dorking with Dorking Masters Swimming Club, two fantastically uh, good clubs, uh, great people down there and uh, I've, I've enjoyed that a lot. So going down to the Lido when it's been 10 degrees in January with the ice and the and, uh, frost scraped off your car before you go, that's been educational and it is now warmed up to the extent that I went down there recently and it was 24 degrees. So uh, realistically, as lovely as it was, beautiful as it looked, it's not going to help me get across I'm afraid. Um, the channel will be no more than 16, 17, maybe less. So uh, I'm going to be planning and training on less. So I need to be getting back into between 10 and 14 degrees, something like that, which I've trained in already this year. So I know I can handle it. I just need to get myself back up to doing that regularly. So the plan is um, for April, May, um, was to be doing lakes and getting into the sea for May, June, July. It's all about the sea and then whenever I can't make it down to the coast I'll go in the lakes then but by the time you get to June even the lakes are too warm. So uh, it's it's mainly Dover and Brighton and uh, I'm lucky enough to be working down in Brighton and I'll get my training done there. It'll be increasing lengths of swim uh, starting probably around the hour mark and um, increasing to back to back and that's Saturday and Sundays realistically. Um, six, seven, or maybe, depending how the season goes, maybe back to back 10 hour swims, which uh, mentally will be quite tough. 
uh, as well as physically of course. So that's the plan and that's the route from between now and through to August. Offers of help are always welcome, um, but probably the uh, most obvious one is a donation to the British Heart Foundation and uh, we set up a Just Giving page to try and make that easy. The link is on the website uh, www.thehelps.co.uk and there's a link there for uh, how to donate or you can go direct onto the Just Giving and that's uh, www.justgiving.com and then forward slash the three swims and that's the number three. I love it in the morning. I love it in the I'm hoping that uh, during the swim I'll get enough signal that um, people on the boat or wherever they, soon after the event, myself or other people can be tweeting. Uh, I've got a Twitter account which is uh, Three Swims of Europe. Um, so it's at Three Swims of Europe. And um, I'm, we'll put blogs and uh, update my blogs and this, this sort of stuff um, during the course of just after the swims and just before. So I try to get it going. So, yeah, hopefully you'll all want to keep in. If you've got any more interest in it, uh, you'll be able to follow us. And as I say, it's uh, it's always the information will somehow be linked on to thehelps.co.uk, the website. And any feedback is appreciated, and any support. Thank you.